Hello everybody and welcome in this new brand video from Lancashire Exchange. Thank you all for your support and your comments you're giving to us. A reminder to subscribe and follow our Instagram page and Facebook page. We are about to get it. We are about to celebrate three years of Lancashire Exchange. Thank you all again community which is already on WhatsApp and I take a moment to invite you into our community to really improve your skills about speaking, reading and listening. Another reminder, Lancashire Exchange organized the meeting, which has been already scheduled and we are planning to go to Rome for from the 22nd of July to the 27th. If you want to join us, feel free to text me in the comment section or, or click on the website, click on the WhatsApp icon and text me back if you'd like to join us or if you live in Rome and you want to you wanna feel the real exchange experience. That's enough news for today, let's get into the lesson. Qui, qua, li, la. E i loro composti? Qua giù, qua su, la giù e la su. Let's get into it. Are you already confused? Don't worry about it. We will take enough time to explain or correctly. So for example, let's start with qui e qua. When do we use it? Grammaticalmente parlando, qui e qua hanno significati molto simili, ma non uguali. Ma gli italiani li utilizzano come sinonimi. The difference is the distance. The distance from the object or the person we are referring to. If we are talking about something is near, then we use qui. Che freddo che fa qui. Qua fa molto freddo. So these outlines should show you exactly how you use them. Remember that qua e qui sostituiscono il significato di in questo luogo. Going on the li e la question, then we're gonna refer to something is far away. Un luogo lontano, un oggetto o una persona lontana. The same as qui e qua, li e la sono grammaticalmente differenti, ma gli italiani li utilizzano allo stesso identico modo. Li e la indicano persone distanti persone, oggetti o animali distanti. Lì e là rappresentano in quel luogo, qui e qua in questo luogo. Guarda là, c'è un cane. Lì è dove dobbiamo andare. Uh, now we go a little bit far away, which are the complex forms of those which are qua su, qua giù, la su e la giù. Not that hard, don't worry about. When I say qua su, means something that is near, upside, okay? When I say qua giù, I mean something with, that is here, but downside, right? It's not that hard to remember. The same thing, same concept when I say la su, so it's something far away and upside, and some la giù, that means something that is far away and downside. That is the basic difference. C'è un gatto lassù. Guarda quel ragazzo laggiù. È mio fratello. So yes, it was pretty simple. My suggestion is to write down some comments with some exercises to get more confident about it. If you got any question, remember to write down it in the WhatsApp group, wherever you need, or in the comment section below. A reminder to subscribe to all the social networks. Thank you all for 300 followers on Instagram. Thank you all again. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you do, leave a like. If you don't, leave a dislike and a comment to suggest us what to do better. Thank you all for your suggestion. Thank you all for your support. And see you in the next episode of Language Exchange. Remember to write down in the group the, to write down it in the to write down it in the uh, my suggestion is to write down to remember my suggestion is to write down